All right, y'all, we back with another video. Y'all know how we do, man. We got Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis just did her speech. She didn't just do it. She did it this morning where she bashed Jim Jordan. Now, I never heard Fannie Willis speak like this as far as she's going at her competitors. You know, she is fighting and, you know, fighting for a job right now, of district attorney, but... I think she should have did this a long time ago. I think she should have, when these accusations came up, she should have just been saying, listen, this is fraudulent. Y'all just attacking me because it is that she stayed quiet. I'm gonna let y'all hear exactly what she said. And then I'm gonna give my take after that. I don't wanna give, you, give too much away, but check it out. Quote, we are witnessing a concerted effort by Trump and MAGA Republican politicians to cast doubt on the legitimate and strong Fulton County election interference case by attacking the prosecutor. It's an effort that takes advantage of every avenue of government power to which Trump's allies have access. Their goal, delay accountability for Trump's alleged attempt to illegally overturn a presidential election. This strikes me very close to my heart because I feel like this is one of the first times I've seen people standing up for you on this point. I wanted to ask how it strikes you. Do you agree with their assessment of what's going on? Well, um, as you know, let's start with the federal government and Jim Jordan. Mm -hmm. Jim Jordan has time after time after time attacked my office um, with no legitimate purpose. Anyone who knows Jim Jordan's history knows that um, he only has the purpose of trying to interfere in a criminal investigation. He has now turned his tricks to he's going to look at grant programs, which I invite him to do. And we have complied with his subpoenas. But yet he continues his attacks to try to interfere in a criminal investigation while all while his jurisdiction has one of the worst crime rates has poverty issues, um, and not one time has he used his position to try to investigate people who are attacking me and attacking others legitimately doing their jobs, making him illegitimate in his position, um, and it's disgusting. And so I bring that up at the federal level because now at the state level, they've decided to follow this clown's lead. And they want to now try to interfere in an investigation. Um, and it's not legitimate either. And so it shall fail and it's not going to go anywhere. But they are trying to attack me at every level. As you know, today is an exciting day for me because I'm on a ballot tomorrow and I have a Democratic challenger and I plan to win and win big tomorrow. But I also have a Republican challenger coming up in November who's unqualified, been practicing law for less than four years, has never practiced criminal law, but has already got PACs supporting her, already has the National Democratic Party, excuse me, the National Republican Party, as well as the local Republican Party supporting her. And so I am thankful to those three Democrats who stood up for what is right. But I am at a point where I need Fulton County voters to get out and vote. I need people around the country to support me big and small to say that we are going to be a country that still believes in the rule of law. We are not going to allow people to be attacked while they do their job. Having prosecutors that are free from interference and are allowed to just look at cases, look at the facts, and if people brought the broke the law to bring charges, has to go on for us to live in a free society. The sad part though for all of them, Ms. Maddow, is it doesn't matter how many times they attack me, I am not gonna be broken and I am gonna still be standing here doing my job lawfully. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, um, I know it's a very busy time with the primary tomorrow and with everything going on uh, in your life and the slings and arrows that you are dealing with. Thank you for being willing to talk to, with me and, and, and my audience tonight about this. And good luck to you. Stay safe. Thank you. All right. So there y'all see it. Uh, Fannie Willis is, she's on the ballot tomorrow and now she's fighting all of this. This is, this is my take on this, right? Fannie, I just feel like there's no proof that she took money it was just this one lady amanda timpson who jim jordan got on his side amanda timpson was in your office fanny and she said that you know y'all was blowing money 
all type of ways. We don't know if it's true. It's no trial. It's nothing that's going on. But she said that, you know, it was some illegal practices going on in your office. And she got fired and escorted, and she's mad about that. Jim Jordan got her right, you know, he got her on his team. So that's a huge blow to you. But I think Fanny could, should have been talking like this months ago i think she should have been saying these people are against me and state the facts but i think now that she has to run and reclaim her job and her position now i think all of this stuff is coming out and i i don't think it's a good i think your opponents got better angles at you than you have to defend on what they have so you call jim jordan a clown I don't know how strategic move that is because he got in Amanda Timpson that's on your that was in your office saying that you guys were misusing funds. So now if they investigate and they don't find anything, hey, you in the right. But I just think that from hearing the circumstances, you would think that, you know, Fannie Willis was you no know, playing with the money. And not to say that everybody probably played with the money we don't know but i just think she could have defended herself a lot better and said more things instead of letting it you know people just bring all of these claims up she should have stood front and center now i think it's a little bit too late you got your competitor christian wise man uh christian wise smith he is talking about your use of funds and how you've been using the funds so i just think it's a little bit too late for her to be able to reclaim her position now she is pitching for it and i mean hearing her saying this i think she's leaning towards doing the right thing she has to pretty much have people feel like any of these accusations that are going on is not true and she gonna have a tough road doing that but let me know what y'all think in the comment section do you think it's a little bit too late for fanny willis or do you think you know she's she's just being targeted okay to get up out of there let me know what y'all think in the comment section i'll catch y'all in the next video peace and love make sure you get your free water test at environly.com here we got mr pollock he had a cornfield he took advantage of a free water test from us and this is what we found in this water we found sulfur we found hardness and we solved this problems with an easy fix of two tanks so get your free water test today stay blessed click the link below